After an impressive opening round victory, the pressure is firmly on the Kings of Rugby to keep pace with our arch rivals Gloucester, who are sitting in second position on the table. Today, we have our second game in Division 1, and it is up against Leon. Hello everyone, welcome along to Rugby 18 on the crib. And the Kings of Rugby career mode, we are looking to back up an excellent round number one. The team is unchanged. And we're up against Leon. We have a, a good looking side. I notice one man is a definite standout. Frederick Michelak at number nine. Liam Gill, the former red. We've got Alexis Palaison in the centres as well. So definitely a dangerous looking side that we are up against here today in Leon. Let's get ourselves ready to go. It's the Kings of Rugby in the black, and it is the Leon side in the red. Let's get it underway. Stuart Hogg. Kicking off for the Kings of Rugby. And he goes semi-deep down there as well. And well taken too from the Kings. Who quickly turn it over. Furlong gets the ball from Karevi. Issa getting it away. Nicely through the guts. It's there for Will Guinea. His first touch short to Bahami. No way to Joe Moody. Good ball. Nicely to Nadolo. Who smashed. Will Guinea runs. Fires to Malcolm Marks, backwards is Karevi. Here's Fahamina, out of one is the Frenchman. Quick ball, Guinea, Navani, finally such the ball, the number eight. Yes, the Kings of Rugby set it up once more on the 10 metre line. Here's Navani again, he's got the ball twice inside the opening minutes. Joe Moody running away, here's Navani Nadolo, taken down so quickly. Pops it short to Jake Ball. He beats through one. And this is a great start at the moment by Leon. Defensively, they're doing very, very well. Bahamini goes away. Leonardo Sato, the Italian, explosive in round one. And he started off in impressively equal fashion. Round two, it's Sato with his fourth try. Well, the Kings of Rugby, they keep putting pressure down the right. They kept on hammering, well, down the right side defence. But now, when they come out to this side, this right winger of Leonardo Sato, he just put the foot down, split the feathers in half, and was too quick for the covering fullback. Look at this. He had to stay wide, number 11. He couldn't cover across quick enough. There was players in King's jerseys out wide, and they had no chance of stopping the flying Italian. Superb start eventually for the Kings. It took them nearly a quarter of an hour to get that first try. And now the home crowd is full of voice. Jonathan Sexton, who I don't think has touched the ball yet. Although Josh Nabardi has. And that is a, a good start for the Welsh back rower. Here is Sexton and over it goes. A successful Sexton conversion and seven points to nil. That's the Kings of Rugby over Leon. Deep down to Ma'anonu, turns the direction back the other way, and it's away to Santo again. Look at him go! Leonardo Santo up to halfway. He's got work to do. He's pacing himself. Now he puts the foot down. Oh, the defense was coming at him. But Santo is absolutely unbelievable, but he's not made it. Oh, he's not made it. Oh, poor Santo. He's a millimeter short as the Kings come again. Joe Moody, out on the left hand side, the All Black, loose end prop, going in for the try. They're all turning up now. We've seen nothing from Navadi last week. We've seen nothing from Joe Moody last week. This time, the two of them have both turned up. Look at Joe Moody go, one out of the way, two out of the way, and then dragged down from behind. He had the presence to dot it down. But you've got to argue, Leonardo Sato probably should have scored the other side. Look at him brace himself there, Joe Moody. Absolute devastation. Dropping that shoulder and blockbusting his way through the would-be tackler. Sato down that uh, right-hand wing has been devastating for the Kings of Rugby. And he was tackled just a metre short. He could have reached out, much like Mr. Moody did, but he, he left it to... His support. And here is the sixth and conversion. Oh, it's over. Oh, I don't know how that went over. It looked like it was going to miss. It looked like it was going to hit the post. Then it went over. Well, it had it all, didn't it? Here's the kickoff. Back underway for Nadolo. 
Charging through tacklers. Nadolo going up over towards the 10 meter line. It's an advantage. Here's an advantage as Guinea has gone wide. Kalisi did very well. And here's Samu Karevi. Haven't seen enough from the Australian centre. Karevi going alone. One to beat. He beats him with power. And he's taken from the cover defence. It's here for Guinea. And the Australians combine. Advantages over once more as Cho Moody says, I quite enjoyed that. And he had another go to the big man. Here is Jonathan Sexton. Oh, that is terrible. So offside. It's gone back to the world Kenya. Karebi back. Ma'anonu keeping it alive as Ma'anonu. There's still advantage here. It's, it's, it's advantage over as Ma'anonu finds a way through. Ma'amahina close to the line. The Kings are coming once more. Santos way off his wing. Probably could have done with him out there. But it's Nadolo swapping sides. Nadolo! Dolo. Take it back. Absolutely vicious. From the Leon fullback. How about this? The winger, wasn't it? Oh, that is red card material. Dropped him on his head. That's terrible. The lead is here for them. They can take the three. They choose not to. Oh, that's a run from Stuart Hogg. But he's going to back himself a bit more there, Hoggy. Guinea. Guinea. Oh, he's so close as Will Guinea. Now to pick and go for Kanuisa. How about some of that? A look at that possession stat at the top. 93% to 7. The Kings of Rugby are destroying Leon. Will Guinea, though, just couldn't be put down. And then a quick ball for Issa. And no one had a chance of stopping the back row from there. Typically hard to stop is the number 7 Argentinian. But when you give him pace and space like that... There was no way to stop Fecundo Issa. Well, Johnny Sexton's got himself involved in the game. He's had a, a couple of touches, a little bit of a half break. He'll be happy with how he's done things so far. But the lead now we are to 19-0. Kick to come from the Irishman. The last one was a miracle. That one was simple as pie. And the lead now out to 21 points to nil. No one getting within a chance for the Kings of Rugby. The pressure is on them to keep up with Gloucester. Yes, that one is just away from the grass with the fullback. And look at the black jerseys coming. They are charging upfield. But a good turnaround kick there from Leon. And it goes nicely in the touch over halfway. That's much better. That is excellent, in fact. They've got to be buoyed by that to the visiting side. Malcolm Marks called into action. First line out throw of the game. And still, of course, the yellow card with Leon as here come the Kings of Rugby once more. Ball's out. Ball is there, and Joe Moody says, I'll have another rumble. And he does too. Oh, Joe Moody. Phenomenal today against Leon. Quickly through the back line to Leonardo Sato. Sato looking to beat them all. Stepping, twirling, weaving. And sidestepping tacklers. Here's Will Guinea. Short one away to Sexton. Who goes so but oh, he's absolutely pummeled. Second defender takes some of that. Marks away to Nadolo. Puts on the wheels. Nemani Nadolo going all alone. Oh, he's twirled his way around. And what a celebration for the Fijian. Nemani Nadolo takes some of that. Excellent work from the Kings of Rugby. And look at the, the team player that Leonardo Sato is. What an addition he's been. Quick ball out from Marx. Probably could have gone himself. But Nadolo for speed. And then look at this. The step. Oh, left him for dust. And then the air pump as well. The fist pump from the big man who's happy to deliver that one. Superb work from the Kings. And this one is a doddle now. They are cruise control. And they're just going to do stuff for fun. Whoa, what a celebration. So another chance for two points for Sexton as we head to half time. 26 nil. It's been a thrashing so far. No way back for Leon as well so far in this matchup. It's all one way traffic. Here is Sexton with a good shot at goal. And half-time blows from the referee. The Kings of Rugby dominating Division 1 so far. And they are cruising against Leon. Yes, 28 points to nil. Well, 
goodness me. Have a look at that second to bottom line. One tackle by the Kings of Rugby. They've had all the ball. Every single piece. I wish we had a bit more uh, stats from this first half because it was 93% possession to the Kings just before half time. It's not much changed much, has it? Leon have hardly touched the ball. And um, if they don't get the ball, they're not going to do anything with it as well. The Kings have kept it well. They've controlled very well. And they've put the points on the board as well. 28-0. Yellow card to the Leon left winger. Nothing going their way. No ball going their way. No points going their way. And 36 tackles to one. That is, that is as one-sided as I've ever seen. Even for Rugby 18. Dominating first half. The Kings cruising to another big victory. Back on the way we go, and it is kicked off from Leon. And it goes down to Malcolm Marks, who's just snuts that one up. That's a, that's a terrible tackle, and it's a great chance now for Leon. But they managed to fix it. Oh, no, and he's trying to straight to touch. Bahamaheen has gone the wrong way. Oh, well, a couple of uh, pretty big errors there from the Kings to start the second half. Malcolm Marks was the one receiving the pass inside his 22 rather than giving it. And then... Baha Mahina throws the ball straight to touch. Not what they want to see at all, is it? Here we see line outs fully on and far too slow were the Kings to compete with that. And a good tackle. Trying to slow it down now. Leon go one out. And oh, big tackle there. Baha Mahina, thanks for coming. Back it goes to Hogg, who absolutely pummels this away. Up over halfway. And there goes the chance fully on. How quickly the Kings of Rugby can take something away from you. Just when it looks like they're building a bit of momentum early on. Getting the ball out of a mistake in a good area of the field. And the Kings of Rugby say, nah, not a chance. Give us the ball back, thank you very much. To the front. And almost competing with it there were the Kings of Rugby. Good little run away there from Michelak. But he loses the ball. So many forwards there. How did they not hold on? Bahamina. Well, he's not happy. He's made an error. And he's trying to make up for it here. Will Guinea. Oh, Will Guinea. Great work. Fires now wide. Out the back door to Sexton. Sato. Well, he's actually been tackled probably for the first time as well. Navadi. Navadi going alone. The big number eight, the Welshman. Doing very well. Getting up over the 10 meter line. Back to Ma'a Nonu, who again braces himself. Now he sweeps away the second. Here's Nonu. He's he stopped there. He's, oh, was he trying to drop goal? Ma'a Nonu, he's got it all messed up in his head what he wants to do. Kicked away from the turnover. Uh-oh, they've given it straight to Sato. Puts the wheels down. Leonardo Sato. Oh, have some of that. Poor, poor from Leon. Sato celebrates another try. His fifth in his second game. But this is terrible. Absolutely terrible. The kick straight to the most dangerous man on the paddock who just burnt pies his opposite. Come up against the fullback. Showing him in. Showing him out. And then dotting down in the corner. Too powerful. But of course, far too fast to contend with. This is where it all broke down. Yes, it's the right option. But no, it's not the right execution. And giving it to the quickest... Most destructive player on the paddock is not the right option at all. Leonardo Sato has been brilliant. 33-0. This one is done. It was done a long time ago. Kings of Rugby far too good. But one man is taking this competition, the series by storm. And amazingly, it's an Italian as well. Leonardo Sato has been spectacular as Sexton can't quite bring it around. The wind holds its line and the crowd ooh and ah as well with it. The game is back underway. Down to Jonathan Sexton who hammers this off the toe. Can't get away from the wannabe tackling fullback. And, oh, look at that. Excellent work from Samu Karebi. And they pop it straight out to Sato. And he... Drives forward another couple of metres. Oh, that's a terrible mistake there from the Kings. Almost humorous as to what's going on there. They slow the breakdown early on, but this time they managed to hang on. Well, it's advantage. Bill's offside from Will Guinea. 
of all people, he was quick out of the blocks, but a little bit too quick, says the referee. And a chance for Leon. If they want it, Sato almost saves it. Big turnaround of possession there. You can see up the top, 54-46 now, with Leon having a lot more ball in the second half. But there it is, 54-46, but um, they've not really made anything of it, have they? No points. A little bit of a chance inside the 22. It's up, they go! Oh, Leon go to the back, and it's almost a next ball at the front. Quickly recycled, Leon looks to take it to the back line! Big charge straight through one tackler there. Quickly out to the right-hand side, they go, strike away, and defender up, they go towards the 22. Back there for Leon. They go again quickly through the fly half who charges it. Just a couple of metres short of the 22. One out stuff at the moment. Offloading and it's gone straight to the king. Sent to Sampton. And now it's a chance. That's what they dream of, Leon. Oh, they've lost it. They've lost it. What an opportunity to score. But the intercept was just too hot for the rest of the team to handle. The kick is charged down by Khaleesi. And they try and twirl their way through. Oh, but again, it's come back. And it's for Kanduisa. Giving it away to Bahamahina, who tried to kick it away. They're getting a bit up upset here, the Kings. They're not getting the ball to play as they want to, and it's not working for them at all. Guinea, back to Hogg, and he will smash this ball. 10 meter line. Now, what can the Leon fullback do? Oh, very good from him as well. He's been average on defense, but a little bit of a showing on attack. And he gets them straight back into the 22. End of the advantage. End of the advantage. So it was offside, I presume, well again from the Kings. They go short side, do Leon. And they break through one tackle. A pick and go here from Freddy Misalak. And they can't get it back, the Kings. It's a great chance. Struck away on defender. They're right there. It's going to be a try for Leon. They go again. What's going on? He's trying to put it down. He's over. Well, well, well. I don't know what he tried to do there at all. Is it Mishlak? It looks like Freddy. It is Freddy. Watch him. He's been named the magician for more than one reason. But this one, bizarre as them all. He stopped a metre short and put the ball down. A couple of Kings players died for it. And then he picked it up. Watch this. Oh, remarkable. Oh, what a play from Freddy. What a play. Freddy Michelak, absolutely phenomenal. 77 minutes gone, Leon has scored. And a little bit of reason to rejoice. Freddy Michelak. <laughs> of course he's got to be the one to do it. No one else can get away with that. Referee would have called a knock on. Not here. Not against the French legend. That is Freddy Michelak. And over goes conversion. And this one has a couple of minutes to go. 33 points to seven. Stuart Hall goes long. And here come, oh, a big tackle. What a kick. A phenomenal kick. Look at that. Absolute perfection. And the Kings of Rugby, they'll have to play it out from about their own 22. Malcolm Marks will have the throw. And they go to the back and up they go nicely. Will Guinea. Oh, he's, he's, he's spilt it. The pass is knocked down by someone. The ball is back and Guinea, not one to want to mess around. He's kicked it away towards touch, looking for full time. And it's beautifully taken. It could be another try for Leon. But it won't be. It's back for Nadolo. And he gives one to the crowd. And the Kings, a little bit rattled at full time. But what a first half display. Leon was shut out. And the Kings of Rugby soldier on. Another bonus point win. Thank you for coming. And that is full time. Leon not quite good enough for the full 80. And they go down in a big way to the Kings of Rugby. Plenty of points for that one as well. Let's take a look at this though. Five tries to one. But what a turnaround. That tackle count was about 36 to one. Somewhere around that. Mid 30s to one. Second half, though, 25 for the Kings, so they made 24 more. But Leon only made about 10 or 15 more tackles. So the second half, certainly theirs. And they actually, well, they won the second half, didn't they? It was 28-0, if my memory serves me right, at halftime. 
5-7 in the second half. What a game. What a second half from Leon, but what a first half from the Kings of Rugby. If only Leon could have played there for the full 80. We could have had upset rugby. But in turn of the results, the Kings take all five points and they go back up the leaderboard. And how do we go? Have we competed here with Gloucester? Will we be side by side with our division rivals for the third season in a row? Well, would you take a look at that table? Gloucester sit top. Kings of Rugby sit second. And our next opponent, the Northampton Saints, sit third. Now, Leon were very good in the second half. And I think that rating difference wasn't much heading into that game versus Leon that we've just watched. And I think that told we dominated that first half because we played really, really well. Leon weren't there. If we play them again, which we do, which won't be for quite some time. Um, let's see. It'll be after Toulouse again. We play them at home. I'm concerned that we could be in for a bit of trouble because their second half, they won, and they are a good enough side as well. Other results have gone on. The Glasgow Warriors have thumped Toulouse, who just going to show that they are not up to standard this season. Gloucester, they thumped Toulouse as well, 37-20. And then Leon have just pipped the Glasgow Warriors. We have one season on our hands here. Glasgow up, look competitive. Glasgow, Leon, Saints and Gloucester definitely look like they could be teams to watch this season. We are up against one of them next. We are away to the Northampton Saints. And then we are back at home to the Cheetahs. When do we play Gloucester? Last. It is. No, not quite last. We play Glasgow last, I do think. Yes. Glasgow are last. Uh, we play Gloucester second to last in round six. So they have to be the benchmark. I wonder if they've changed their team at all. That will be the interesting thing. But the Southern Kings next up, Northampton Saints. We sit second on 10 points. And we have a lot to do. I hope you've enjoyed today's little episode. A really weird game of two halves. I thought we were cruising. I thought we could just sit on that lead. And it turns out we did enough in the end. But could have been a lot better second half from the Kings of Rugby. Much to improve on there. I'll see you all for the next episode versus the Northampton Saints. Until then, thanks for tuning in and watching. And I'll see you for round three. Until then, take care.